Well, hello, Brenda. It's me, Bob the Boar. Jamie, where'd you get that thing? Five bucks at the swamp meet. Neat, huh? Oh, I think it's terrible. That boar was once a living thing. It had a father and a mother. I know. I didn't have enough cash for the whole set. <laughs> Jamie, how can you be so insensitive? I didn't kill it. If anything, I rescued it from further harm. There was a Korean guy there who wanted to grind the horns into an aphrodisiac. Where are the horns? I don't know. But I hear this makes an excellent tea. Jamie, why do you do this? You know how passionate I am about animal rights. I'm passionate too. If we're up to me, animals would never be killed for decoration. Only food, clothing, and sport. You know, it's that kind of thing that keeps me from dating you. Really? Is that it? We can fix that. Teach me to love animals as you do. Well, I do take some of the kids from the hospital to the petting zoo. Oh, I'm all for petting. My record proves that. <laughs> Maybe you can learn something. Okay, it's a date. I knew my kangaroo paw would bring me luck. But then little kid moved into my neighborhood. Well, he won't do nothing right. Just sitting there, he looks so good. Well, he put some tax on teacher's chair. Let's go on the little girl's hair. Now, Junior. Behave yourself! Palm reading? Come on, it'll be fun! Hi. Hey, you're the yoga girl from next door. No, I am Madame Zelda. <laughs> no. You are Trisha. It says so on your name tag. Oh, sorry. I'm filling in for my mom. She had to pick my brother up from soccer practice. Are you psychic too? Oh, yeah. I'm way psychic. <laughs> Katie, I'll do you first. Did you hear that? She knew my name. Uh, I said it six times at the yogurt place. I bet she also knows that you have a hand. Hey. Cool, check it out, you're fully evolved. This is your last incarnation on Earth. What does that mean? Well, see, we keep coming back as all different animals until we learn all our lessons. Then you go to the celestial planes. All the cool people are there. You know, Jesus, Buddha, Tupac. <laughs> okay, do me. Bummer. You're coming back as a beaver. What? <laughs> Why? Well, the beaver level teaches responsibility. I guess the cosmic creator thinks that you must really need that. Ha ha! I'm perfect and you're a beaver. <laughs> I am an extremely responsible person. You don't know what you're talking about. Do you drive a white Chevy Blazer? You saw that here? No, there. You're being towed. This is great, Brenda. Chickens, goats, ducks. So they feed these to the big animals? No, there are no big animals. This is a petting zoo. See, I'm learning already. <laughs> now, just remember, be gentle. All living things respond to affection. I know I do. <laughs> I'm gonna call this one Brenda, because you're both so soft and perky. <laughs> no, Jamie. <laughs> and he's got a cute little beak, like you do. <laughs> oh, now you see, there really is a 
a gentle side to you. How could I not be gentle when I'm surrounded by such love? Son of a! Brenda, Brenda, wait! I can explain. I only killed that duck in self-defense. And to teach a lesson to those other ducks. Jamie, you threw a sweet little mallard into a wood chipper. It's the circle of life, Brenda. Fish kill worms. Mice kill fish. Cats kill mice. And I kill the duck. Hakuna Matata, baby. I can't stand the side of you either. Are you as turned on as I am? <laughs> it was worth a shot. Not irresponsible. Oh, you are irresponsible. How can you say that? I have a job, I, I pay rent, I have a car. <laughs> you know, or I will Monday when the impound lot opens. <laughs> Okay, you do the basic stuff you need to do to survive, but you have no consideration when it comes to other people. Oh, that's just silly. <laughs> okay. All right, give me an example. All right, remember when I got my wisdom teeth out? No. And you forgot to pick me up? No. Do you know what it's like to drive on the expressway with a head full of nitrous oxide? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I've made my point. Oh, all right, I made one mistake. You think Mother Teresa never left a leper at the dermatologist? You think you can take care of something? Take care of this. What's this? It's a ditcher baby. It's a simulated baby that sleeps, eats, and cries. Mm -hmm. And if you don't take care of it, it dies. Cute, huh? Oh, I heard about these things. Kids are crazy about them, aren't they? Right. But the longest any one of my third graders has kept that thing alive is a day and a half. Beep that, and I'll never question your responsibility again, beaver. <laughs> Keep this thing going till 2 a.m. tomorrow? Deal. All right. It's born. Congratulations, you're a proud father of a bouncing baby video game. Last time I go to the arcade drunk. <laughs> Just doing my Christmas card. Cool. Hey, get one with me and my kid. All right. Whoop, excuse me. My baby needs me. He wants affection. I have given it affection, and now it's fine. Just like a real baby. I can't believe Katie's making you do that. Next to me, you're the most responsible guy I know. Well, you know, that's women. You make a mistake, and you're pigeonholed for life. You run one stop sign, and suddenly she's whipping out a rosary at every intersection. Tell me about it, you know? I kill one defenseless animal, and suddenly Brenda thinks I'm the big defenseless animal killer. It was an accident. You know, I wish Brenda would kill an animal. Then we'd be back to even. Hey, where are you going? to get Brenda a pet. I am looking for your oldest and sickest cat. <laughs> of you to take on an infirm animal. Well. Most of our adopters only want healthy baby kittens. Why? Why, indeed. <laughs> Let's see now. Oh, this one is quite elderly. How much longer does he have? Six months. Oh, that's not good enough. I'm talking sick. I mean, really, really sick. God bless 
it's you. There is one cat who's not in our book, Mr. Pendleton. He has a very weak heart. The, the littlest fright could finish him off. Well, then I must have him. Oh. Do you need a cat carrier? Oh, I got one right here. Oh, oh. Very prepared. Oh, kitty, kitty. Get in the first. Get here you in go. The here you go. Oh, yes, kitty. <laughs> Stop crying or I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> now I know how Mia Farrow feels. <laughs> hey, what you got there? An old, sick cat. Poor thing's only got a couple of days left. I'm giving him to Brenda. <laughs> Why? Don't you get it? When it expires on Brenda's watch, it'll make her an animal killer just like me. Hey, Brenda, did you see that? A sweet apple-cheeked old lady just bowled me over like touched by an angel was just about to start. What's this? Please take care of my kitten, Mr. Pendleton. How sad. That sweet, apple-cheeked old lady must have been too old and infirm to take care of her kitten any longer. Looks kind of big to be a kitten. Oh, of course it is. It's just got a healthy appetite, that's all. Well, I guess I could keep him. He is kind of cute. Oh, that he is. <laughs> Perfect. What are you doing? What does it look like? Katie, please. I have been taking care of this thing all day. I finally get a moment's peace and, and, and you start climbing all over me? <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that I just might not be in the mood? You are always in the mood. Oh, well, that shows how well you know me. Come on, it's just a digit, baby. It was a stupid idea. Let's just forget it. No. I've made up my mind. I'm keeping my baby. <laughs> Katie? What? Do you think I'm fat? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Pendleton. It's me, Jamie. The friend who adopted you. I brought something for you. Some soothing music to ease you into the next life. <laughs> it still lives. Sorry about that loud music, Mr. P. I hope it didn't disturb you, because I know how rattled you'd be if, say, a dog ran in here. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Pendleton. Die already. <laughs> Sweet kitty. Who loves Mr. Pendleton? Who loves Mr. P? Jamie, what are you doing in my apartment? Oh, hi, Brenda. I, I didn't hear you come in. I was just worried that Mr. Pendleton might be getting lonely. Oh, well, that was nice of you. Yes, we've just been having ourselves oodles of fun. Oh. Frolicking, chasing each other around. You have been really good to him. This is probably a mistake, but could you look in on him tonight? I have to work a double at the hospital. Brenda, I'm honored that you would trust me to come into your apartment when you're not here. Well, you'd do it anyway. Hey, Mr. P, you're not such a bad guy after all. 
Thanks to you, I'm an invited guest in Brenda's home. Hey, check out your boss in her cheerleader outfit. I need a duffel bag for a dead body. Closet, top shelf. Rinse it out when you're done. must have fallen asleep. <laughs> that Mr. Pendleton just chuckered me out. <laughs> oh, there he is now. <laughs> little scamp. Still playing his little kitten games. Oh, sweet. He's usually not that energetic. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I'm just going to brush my teeth and curl up on the couch. Thanks. Can you let yourself out? All righty. Good night, Brenda. Good night. I did it. <laughs> I kept it alive a day and a half. Read it and weep, baby. <laughs> Mr. Responsibility. Fine, fine. You're responsible. I liked it better when you weren't. Go to sleep. <laughs> you know, I've really learned a lot from this experience. I think uh, someday I'm going to make one hell of a dad. Brenda? Oh, hi, Jamie. What's wrong? You look so sad. Mr. Pendleton died. I can't believe it. He was so frisky when I left. I even bought him a ball of yarn. I don't know what happened. I mean, the hardest part is thinking maybe it's my fault. Does that make any sense? Brenda, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Listen, I know exactly how you feel. Because a short time ago, I inadvertently killed another living thing. Do you remember that? Yeah, Jamie, I remember. 
Well, I vowed that if one of my friends ever killed an animal, I'd stand by them. I didn't kill him. I gave him food and water. Well, did you give him the one thing that all creatures need the most? Did you give him sex? Love? <laughs> I did push him away last night because he had bad breath. Do you think that was wrong? You know me, Brenda. I'm not one to judge. But yeah, I'd say that killed him. <laughs> well, listen, you sit tight. Let me go get us some gin. When I come back, we can share our feelings. isn't so bad. Building dams, waving my big tail around, going to the bathroom whenever I want. Ah. Sure is different from life as a human. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jamie. 